Hi, welcome back to Toyo 5. Okay, so we've talked about blocks and lines and line types and so on. What are we missing here? Um, okay, we've talked about properties, match properties. Uh, we've erased things. Copy, mirror, offset we've talked about. And array. Okay, let's do uh, copy and offset. No offset. Copy and mirror. Okay, uh, what are we going to copy? How about we copy CP and we select these two lines. Okay, okay, it's asking us for a base point. Okay, for our copy. So we're going to pick right there. Okay, now it's asking us for uh, where do we want to move to. And I'm just going to take the center okay of that line now I can keep copying copy 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 as much as I want okay I'm going to erase just in case we haven't gone through the erase command okay I'm going to zoom in and I'm going to trim okay and I'm going to get rid of that and I'm going to get rid of that okay now what was the other one that we hadn't done okay mirror Okay, get rid of that. Uh, zoom in, Z. Zoom in. Okay, there we go. Okay, let's mirror. Uh, when we mirror something, we need an axis, uh, something to um, mirror with. Okay, so this sort of looks like it could be a little cabin or something, a little house. So um, let's say that the uh, people's lot, um, it won't work. They need this uh, reversed. Okay, they need it near. They need this door over at that end of the house, let's say. Okay, so we could mirror. Um, I'm going to just pick an axis here. I'm just going to draw a line. Okay, and I'm going to just go from there. And I'm going to go straight up just like that. Okay. And escape out of it. Okay, so what I'm going to do is I'm going to mirror this whole house with using this white line as as the axis of my mirror. Okay, so get into the mirror command, M I. Okay, I'm going to select all of these objects. Okay. I'm going to um, press spacebar or enter. It's asking me for the first point of my mirror line. Well, I'm just going to pick down here. Okay, and second point, I'm just going to pick up here. And then I'm going to press enter or spacebar. You can see I have a copy of this whole house, only it's going in the other direction. Okay, so if I were a mirror, okay, this whole house. Okay, but instead of using this um, vertical line, I pick, um, mm, let's pick a line down here. Okay, make sure that ortho is turned on, F8 is on. Okay, and pick a line here and enter. You can see that now um, I've got a mirrored image of my original house only uh, going on the other axis. Axes, sorry. Okay, so I'm going to erase. Uh, all of this and all of this okay I'm going to erase this line construction line that I drew okay um, what was some of the other things we haven't talked about okay array well I don't really want to array this whole house um, but uh, let's see Let's array these lines, okay, <coughs> to give you an idea what the array command. So A R array. <coughs> okay, so it's asking me how many rows and how many columns. So uh, rows, uh, just like in a database or an Excel thing, rows go up and down and columns go left to right. Okay, well in this particular case, I only want one row of items, and this is basically I'm going to say I want it. 20 times okay okay my row offset so the distance between rows well let's pick 16 inches okay 16 inch centers let's say um, 
Oh, my row offset would be zero. Okay. Uh, my column offset. Okay. How many times I want the column? Okay. The angle of the array no is going to be zero. I just want to go in a straight line. Okay. Um, I'm going to press OK or select objects, I guess, and I'm going to select those two, and then I'm going to go OK. Okay, do you see how these objects have been arrayed 20 times, 20 columns? Okay, they have uh, they're 16 inches, so let's go distance. Okay, di for distance, and we'll pick this point to this point, and it's 12 inches. Okay, well let's pick this point to this point, and it's one foot four or 16 inches. Okay, so everything's been arrayed. 16 inches. Okay, I'm just going to go undo. Okay, that gets rid of my distance. Undo. Okay, again, undo, undo, and there, I've undone that array. Okay, what else? Um, offset. Okay, move, rotate, scale, stretch. I think we've talked about stretch. Okay, let's, uh, okay, move, M O. No, oh, that got us into properties. M O is properties. Who knew? Okay, uh, just M for the move command. Select objects to move. Well, let's take this whole house. Okay, where do we want to move from? Let's take that corner. Where do we want to move to? Well, let's just show AutoCAD that we want to go in that direction. And let's say four zero feet. Okay, enter. So we just move the house 40 feet over. Okay, um, if I draw a line from here to here and I move, okay, all of this from, okay, there's the corner um, of the house and I move it to the corner of that line. Okay, the move command. Now, erase. I wonder if I can click on. Yeah, I did. Okay, clicked on that construction line and I erased it. Okay, uh, what was the other one? Move rotate. Well, we've talked about rotating. Okay, so rotate uh, this whole house from that point. Okay, now I have ortho on and so I'm only going to go in the four quadrants. Okay. Um, if I turn ortho off, F8, now I can rotate, okay, in any direction I want, okay, and that's a bit weird, okay, let's go, because we're in the command, let's go 45 degrees, 45, uh, enter, okay, so we've just rotated that house uh, from this corner, uh, 45 degrees, okay, let's undo. Okay, uh, rotate, and we've talked about trim and extend. Um, I believe we talked about stretch, but let's do it one more time. Okay, stretch is a great command. Okay, so stretch, actually click on here somewhere, and then go S for stretch. Okay, now with stretch, we have to use, uh, like it says on the command prompt, uh, a crossing window or a crossing polygram, which means we have to draw from right to left. Okay, we encompass everything. So all of those lines that we have selected are going to be stretched. Okay, we selected objects, so we press enter. Okay, where are we going to stretch from? We're going to go this point. Okay, we're going to show AutoCAD the direction. Okay, and then we're going to go six inches. Enter. Okay, so we've just stretched that six inches more. Okay. Um, okay, modify scale. Okay, let's get into the scale command, SC. Okay, select objects to scale. Okay, now base point to scale from. I'm going to pick this corner. Okay, scale factor. Well, I'm going to pick a very easy one. I'm going to make it half as big as it was before. Okay, I'm going to go 0.5. So 0.5. Uh, Enter. 
Okay, there it is. That house is now half of what it is. Every part of it is is half. That door, okay, which used to be three feet. If we go distance, okay, from here to here, okay, it says one foot six, okay, half of three feet. So the whole house has been scaled. Okay, undo, undo, again undo. Okay, um, so now when I use the distance command, okay, and I type, I go from that corner to that corner, I'm back to three feet. Okay, uh, stretch, lengthen, trim, extend. Okay, break, break is a good one. Okay, um, I don't. I uh, use break a lot because you can see what I do here. Um, I, I trim these lines. And so now when I want the center of this line, so if I want to draw a line and I to center, okay, it's already been broken into its component parts. But down here on this long wall or this long line, okay, um, there's a number of things I can do. If I want two lines here, can use the break command BR. Okay, select objects to break. I'm going to break this line. Okay, I'm going to pick first point, so F. Okay, first point, I'm going to pick right on the center. Now it's asking me for the second point. I'm going to just pick on the center again. Now when I click on this line, it's half, a separate line, and that's half. So I just broke that line in half. Okay. Um, another nice one is divide. Okay. So if I div divide, okay, select object to divide. I'm going to pick this long line. It's asking me how many segments do I want? Well, let's say I want it to divide it into four. Okay, I want four segments. And enter. Um, okay, so now it's divided it. Okay, well, that didn't work. Let's go to uh, DD, okay, which is dialog box, P for point, and then type, and then enter. Okay, that's why it didn't show up. Uh, the default point type um, coming out of the box is that tiny little dot there. Uh, let's change it to something that we can see. Okay, um, we can do 5% of the screen or we can do uh, size in absolute units, and so now this would be 5 inches. Okay, so each one of these markers is going to be 5 inches. Okay, and now you can see the divisions. Okay, so let's do line, okay, from, okay, right on that division, you can bring it up. Okay, and just keep going. So, you know, we can divide this line into as many equal units as we want. Okay, now everything here is on layer zero. I'm just going to erase. Okay, I'm going to draw a selection window from left to right. Okay, and so all I'm encompassing is uh, those markers. I'm going to get this line and press enter, and they're gone. Okay, so that's the divide command. Um, check and fill it. Okay, so dimensions, we'll do some dimensions. Okay, we've drawn a line, uh, construction line, we'll get to. Okay, we've done a rectangle and a polyline, um, arc circle. Okay, we've done blocks. Okay, we'll get into boundary hatch later. And okay, so let's try dimensions. Okay, we'll try dimensions as they come out of the box. Okay, so dimensions is a whole new set of commands um, that you have to break into. So DIM, okay, gets you into the dimension set of commands. Okay, let's do a horizontal dimension. H-O-R. Enter. Okay, it's asking me for my first point. Okay. Okay, my time's up. I've got to go. We'll get into dimensions in the next tutorial. Uh, see you then.